think about that, he can just like escape if the combo is not true. And it's the same even with the Nair, but maybe on the other like kind of situation because it makes a, like tiny frame differences. But yeah, there are some ways where you know this Rutiles cannot work. And Petalia didn't use them that much. He just finds some like skirmishes and just getting some damages like we saw in the previous set. So let's see about that for now. An opening in a uh, like quite equal situation, but some damage are finally getting in with this opening and a good phase here from the uh, Petalia. Right. Yeah, I lost my cook answer. Or are you? Um... Oh, sorry. Think... My oh, it's okay. my mic accidentally muted itself. My fault. It's it's <laughs> okay. It's okay. Yeah. I was like I was like. Well. No, 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 you're okay. <laughs> my yeah. As much as um, as much as Yoshi can be a little freer than most characters against Kazuya, you still have to be careful. He hits really hard even without all the electric combos. Yeah. Yeah, the typical the character is like oh, really no. hard, like on this one, and in what he, he didn't try, he didn't use the second jump, so no armor here, just getting on the uh, bouncing on the stage, and no tech uh, goes in stake, like we say in France, so hard here. On 107, you have some potential with Yoshi, but careful because there's a rage drive. Oh my god! Not gonna kill because Yoshi's heavy, but yep. I mean, Hataya looking so good right now has lapped Pharaoh in percent, and. Yeah, like, look at how much Pharaoh has to respect this Kazuya. The gates of hell, not gonna kill yet. Oh, no. The oh, jump was sniped by the laser. Yeah, I double jump. All right. Stomp to the up air there. Gonna pick up the stock here, but... Hataya, I mean, again, he's so efficient with this movement. He's hitting the up air to hit someone he needs to. He's lasering when he needs to. He's moving when he needs to. It's all, like, with purpose, which is, like, so impressive. Yeah, like it's really precise. I can I can disagree on that one. Okay, some exchanges here. The up tilt, but unfortunately, get on getting anywhere. Just maybe a little situation on that stage. But the problem once again is he can't. I don't know how Petaya does it, but he's like really good on getting off stage, uh, getting on stage. Sorry, without any good risks. And every time he's on a clutching situation to get off stage, he finds his way to get back in. And that's so good because Kazuya is a ground character and that's for now working really well. We can maybe some fine phantom here with, with a rage drive and the parry into up B frame 12. That's over here. Good kill here. Yeah, I I mean parry to the up B. It's it's an underrated option from Kazuya players for sure. Mm. I wonder, that just looked so dominant, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that was impressive. It yeah, was impressive was, because, was... once again, you are not as good off stage, and Yoshi, with the, his airspeed, with the kill power, with the nair, with the forwarder, can do a lot of things, but, like, I don't know how he does it, he's just stuck in this stage. I think he just mastered the way that he was like, Kazuya is a ground character, all the uh, fighting game, traditional fighting games characters are, but he like he acknowledged the fact that he needs to be careful. He never ever extends. He just tried to get these skirmishes, getting something here, and that's it. And that's really painful. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it goes to show that like having punish game is not the only important thing as Kazi. You need to have this good movement, right? But Pharaoh, I mean, he's definitely still in this. I know we haven't we've been talking down on him a little bit. But don't count him out. We just saw what he could do. And Smashville, I mean, Smashville makes it a little more volatile, I think. Yeah, Pharaoh because you can just... get, well, well, you can get off stage more easily on a small stage, and maybe that's what Pharaoh is looking for, so. Yeah, that's what I think, too. I think he wants to set up more edge guard situations, more mm -hmm. ledge trap situations. Yeah, because he needs them. The only problem we have with Smashville when you are against a Kazuya is that he can get easily on you. So that's, that's quite, oh my god, yeah, he was trained there, but no, the spacing was not making any difference, and that will be a second kill, oh, first kill, sorry, for Petaya. Uh, getting, finally, some openings there. That's the problem with Smashville. Kazuya can, can just hug you all the time, so you need to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the small stage means that the big man gets close to you. This rage drive is so scary, too, for Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's super. Oh, he tried to get some electric maybe to get some uh, mix-ups there. And maybe, yeah, he can capitalize on the rage drive with the 44%. But now we have a very defensive Yoshi trying to make a difference. That's oh, no. the side B, and that will be the down B. But not getting a kill once again, because heavy Yoshi, big eggs, and he needs to break them to make something out of it. 
Yeah, but look at Pattaya. Like, he doesn't go for an extended combo off the knockdown. No. He just takes the 40 from the rage drive. He knows what his win condition is. He knows he's in the driver's seat. The big head coming out from Yoshi, though, taking up the stock. And I mean, it is Smash for a very volatile stage. Let's see what Pharaoh can put together here. Mm, maybe something here on the head and maybe having some good conversions. The down air getting some damages, like I said, like something like 30. Mixing here to get on the on the ledge. But once again, he can't find anything with the, the, the game's no edge guard. And maybe that can make a difference. Now we have the best move in the game, which is the forward slow of Kazuya. I love this move so much. It's so savage. Yeah, the angle is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. It just sends you so far horizontally, and here's a grab! Yoshi jumps out of it. Some yeah, and you know, he just, he just capitalized on the little situation, and if he can find something to close the game that works, but you know, he just did the electro electric win, getting some damages more, he knows he can follow, and he just stops, and... Like, it just, like, knock a little bit the, uh, his opening, and Pharaoh is like, so what can I do now? Because I know we'll, we'll go at me because he has the momentum. Yeah. He looks a little lost right now. I mean, like, he's, like, even in his play, it feels like he has some ideas of what he wants to do. But then he gets in the situations, and it just feels like Pattaya is picking options that cover what he wants to do every single time, whether it's mm. the forward tilt in the corner, he's running up and grabbing, he's electricing at the right time. Town and City here probably just wants to give Pharaoh a little bit more of a bigger stage to work with, uh, some space to get away mm -mm. from the big man that is Kazuya. Yeah, but once again, that's a 50-50. Why? Because on sometimes it just make a bigger final destination and when and that's when you can you lose yourself because that's a good map for uh, Kazuya. But he can survive maybe more on some situation with the Rage Drive because we know uh, we saw his DI was like really good. So let's see about this. For now, we have some big damages going on once again from uh, Pattaya, but Pharaoh has some little things maybe to have the competition, some damages, but he needs to get under one person too, because if not, we'll just get maybe more in advance. And for now, that's Pattaya who has the rhythm of the, of the set. Yeah, I love the adaptation we've already seen. Play a little more grounded, crash a little more, use low oh. pokes and use the egg lay. Oh, oh my, my god. god! All okay, avenues okay, were so covered. That's what I... Okay, you were talking about some labbing situations. Okay, now I see the figure. Oh my god, that was yeah. nasty. The frame trap here? Yeah, I mean, Pattaya had no options. This command grab won't kill either. For the first time in the set, Barrow has a lead. And already 45 damage tacked on. It feels like he's getting a good rip. But this up will give even up the stock count. I'm yeah. still in shock over that setup, sorry. That was Yeah, no, no, that was that was really good. That was like an excellent situation. Getting the uh, the frame trap just getting on the on the on the on the ground. We'll maybe talk about that later when we see the replay. But for now, we just need maybe to push more bats the first time. Like you said that he has a good lead, so maybe something on this ledge trap. But no, it was anticipating maybe a role it was like really far. Uh, maybe some that there are some situations I think where uh, Paro is giving too much space on Pitaya just to get back on, on tracks. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad way to play. There's just one way you can pick. I think the thing that's made the difference this game has been uh, a bit more crouch from Pharaoh and more use of the down tilt to really uh, duck underneath the Kazuya and its ability and all that stuff and contest the ground and movement. But this is so scary. One electric and your lead just goes by. Never mind. Oh! Okay, okay. that's not a thing we saw that much. Kazuya okay, so getting some juggling. He is so methodical with these uh, punishments. He knows he has something that can be really scary for his opponent. Well, the neutral here will make the difference. And that will be an equalization. So that's good. But he worked so hard to get this stock. And he had Pitaya getting the lead here. Even if it's a tiny one. Well, I, it's definitely even. Both of these characters hit so hard, and we can't see the zero to death because of the double jump armor, right? So, uh, oh. Pharaoh has a bit of insurance here, but this is still so scary. The stage is looking a little flat there, hard to land against the Kazuya Electric. And here's the grab, with jumps out. Yeah, the two, the, yeah, the second jump. The second jump saved the day here. And that's really hard maybe to get in, in for Kazuya. Pitaya is quite in trouble here. Getting a neutral in falling and getting finally an electro in. But no, once again, on a, a good some punishments here. And maybe having Meramis with some more space and have more situations to let the opening get in here. Maybe, maybe can be the solution for Pharaoh. But he needs to win this one because if not, he's in losers. I think the rage drive will kill here. 
One command grab Don't is jinx all in. that stands. One command grab is Don't all that stands. In. In between uh, Battalion and Grand Vitals, you're scaring me. That's very scary. Oh my god, this big feet on his big nose. Let the little Dino live. Okay, okay, maybe. The, last, the next hit will maybe cancel the red drive, so that can be a big difference here for Pharrell. He knows that he has the pressure. Maybe if I get something on the stage, that will be on the shield. And unfortunately, this poor Yoshi will bounce on his big nose and be sent to oblivion. Far Petaya is playing in a really interesting way. Like, that's really, really impressive. I, I am, I am like amazed by how uh, Pharrell made some good openings and good situations when he started to download. But Pataya is one of a kind of a Kazuya to see because he's not in full getting punished situations, just getting maybe some little skirmishes, and that's not a thing you see that much because you know you want your Twitter clip getting to one hundred, to do zero to one hundred, but not for him. It just wants to get thirty. 30, one at a time, one at a time, just getting inside the head of the opponent, getting more scarier, and at the end, just getting the closure. And that's another way to play uh, uh, Kazuya efficiently. Yeah, it is also worth noting, I mean, uh, I do know that Pattaya, for the most part, uh, only started going to local seriously, uh, I think sometime in later 2022. So he kind of started, I know, I think he had some results before that, but I only saw him come up then. And I think when people, it's a similar phenomenon to like, uh, like a Steve effect almost, where when you learn the game through the lens of a character like this, hold on. Oh, that's. Oh my God. That That's like, I, I will see that on the replay on the mid. Like he just got him on the down tilt, up, getting the up air, getting the down air just for a frame trap possibly. And the landing. Game that was punished. crazy too. Man. Yeah. The back air, just getting him slide and get the up smash. Yeah. That like, like it wasn't a checkmate, but it was really hard to get out of here and like for Pataya mm -hmm. was taking a risk getting out of the platform so every, yeah. that was a really good call from Pharaoh but unfortunately we're seeing that at the end and you are having a good predict that was uh, killing on the down B. Yeah and I mean I think it goes to show that like Pataya um, because he's so 